and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to excuse that. So today's video is going to be a quick and easy uh, makeup look. If you are a type of girl who wears glasses, I supposed to wear glasses. I norm that's yeah, papi. I normally don't wear glasses just because they're so humongous and they have so much prescription. Gracias. My little one's helping me out today. And and they have so much prescriptions going on that um my eyes look like I'm in a fishbowl. Sort of thing. So, but I really wanted to share with you guys the type of makeup look I use when I know that I'm going to be using my eyeglasses all day. So I got to give you some few pointers first before we jump into the makeup tutorial. I'm not trying to make it uh, really long this video, but I really want to um, tell you guys a little bit about makeup uh, when you're wearing glasses. So, there's few things you have to emphasize when you're wearing glasses. I, for instance, like to emphasize my lips. I don't like my face to get lost in my glasses since my glasses are already big enough. If you have big glasses, make sure you keep it very simple on the eye. Do sort of bring out your eyes. What I mean is don't be afraid to use eyeliner. In, in this case, I just went with a, no, a natural look on my eyes and just did a very black wing eyeliner. I did not wear falsies in this case because it was just going to be too long and it will probably hit my... Um, glasses but if you're not wearing falsies just make sure you do go dramatic on applying lashes they're not going to hit against your glasses at all but it will out bring attention to your eyes when people are talking to you so if people are close to you and they're talking to you they're going to be able to see your eyes they want to be able to be like oh wow that is cute look at that whatever <laughs> whatever the case is in my point i like to have my wing eyeliner with a lot of mascara Sort of when people are talking to me, they actually are looking at my eyes, not my humongous frames. So if I am from far away and uh, here I am, I'm walking and whatever, I do want to bring emphasize into my lips. So I keep it natural. My face, I keep it tend to keep it natural. We don't want to go too much. We don't want to do too much. Uh, meaning in the eyes and then your lips and then, you know, a whole bunch of blush and like you have... You have smoky eye over here and then a huge bold lip. So we don't want to do that. We want to keep it as simple as possible. So if you do simple eyes, make sure you go bold on your lips. In this case, I wear pink. I can wear red or purplish color, but I do go bold on my lips. If you have small prescription glasses, a soft smoky eye will be good. And then just sort of go neutral on your lips because you're going to be bringing, you're going to be emphasizing your eyes. You don't want to go too much again. So if you want to do a smoky eye, you can go with a smoky eye. But make sure you keep it very nude and neutral on your lips. Um, other thing is make sure you highlight. I tend to highlight the inside, the tear ducts of my, the inner corners of my eye with a highlighter. And of course, I tend to go ahead and highlight. And here I did a small, a little bit of contour and I did blush and highlight because at the same time I don't want my face to get lost in there. But at the same time we want to make it tasteful. So for me, highlighting is a plus when you're wearing glasses. Let's see, what else do I have to say? Um, if your eyes appear larger than normal on your, like mine, <laughs> you can always um, go over it with... Uh, uh, black eyeliner black eyeliner usually closes on your eyes so you want to go ahead and line your um, your eyes your waterline all your eyes eyeliner with the black eyeliner because the black eyeliner tends to close your eyes so like that your eyes don't look humongous uh, if you eyes look smaller and you want to brighten them up just make sure that you use a very light shimmery color on this area of your eyes right down here make sure you can use a a, a white papi dame un segundo you can use a white eyeliner on your tear duct and then you can just do like a gold shimmery highlight under in this case i did dark just because i'm doing dark so those are pretty much um the tricks that you want to do when you're wearing glasses um so hopefully i cover mo most of them which is, you know, if your eyes appear larger, how to make them smaller. If they appear smaller, how to make them larger. So, um, 
So ladies, if you have to wear glasses, don't be afraid to wear glasses. There is a way that you can draw attention to your face, not just to your glasses. So if you want to see how I achieve this look for my glasses, all you gotta do is keep watching. So hello ladies, here I am applying my moisturizer to my face and then I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in color 220. With a stipple brush, I go ahead and apply it to my face. And what I like to do is I like to blend it very well onto one side. And then once I see that one side is covered, I move on to my next side of the face. Always making sure I blend, blend, blend. I want that flawless finish to my face. So now on to my eyebrows. Now we're going to be using uh, an eyeshadow primer and it's very important you use an eyeshadow primer because this is going to help your eyeshadow sort of stick out. So here I'm using the Lorac Mega Pro and the color that I'm starting with is the color Camel with a dense blending brush. I'm applying it to the crease of my eyes, focusing mainly on that crease and whatever I have left on the brush, I'm just going to go ahead and blend upwards. And also and then the other side of my eye and then I'm gonna take a big blending brush and I'm just gonna uh, avoid all the harsh line and with the color if I'm not mistaken it's color called fun I'm going to use it as transition and avoid any of the harsh line and then with the color brown I'm going to go ahead and just pretty much intensify that crease I'm just gonna go ahead and stay on that crease and as a highlighter I'm going to be using the color vanilla on my brow bone and I like to use a shimmery on this case just because we're just trying to stand out and then with the color clear cream we're gonna use that on the lid of our eyes now for the gel eyeliner I'm using NYC black gel liner and I'm gonna go ahead and do a cat eye I'm gonna go ahead and first draw the line hours and then I'm going to start filling it in going towards the inside of my eye and I'm making it as, you can make it as thick as you want. I like to make it a little bit thick just because I don't want my eyes to get lost on the frames. So I'm moving on to the other eye, the same thing. I'm bringing it out and then blend and then actually filling it in going to, inwards of my eye. And then I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that they're both the same size. So now we're going to move on to the face and I am using IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. I love this concealer because it's not only hides my dark circle but also it gives me sort of a highlight effect to my eyes a little bit on the bridge of my nose and now we're gonna go ahead and go in with the same stipple brush from elf and just going to blend that very well under my eye and of course the bridge of my nose you want to bring some highlight effect to that area it's very important now to contour, I'm going to use the e.l.f. contour palette and with a contour brush, I'm going to go ahead and just apply it to the hollows part of my cheeks. I'm using the Anastasia here just to sort of blend it a little bit, but not too much. And of course we want to bring warmth to the face, so I'm applying it to the temples of my face and a little bit on the forehead. And I'm looking for something. <laughs> So I like to go ahead and do this extra step which is contour my nose, that's just me. You can just go ahead and leave it out, but I like it. So for blush, I'm using the Hourglass Blush and I'm using a angle bl br brush, I'm sorry, by Sigma. And then I'm just going to go ahead and blend that all with a dual fire brush. And this part is very important, it's called highlight. So I'm using the Mary Luminizer and I'm highlighting my face. So here I'm using a pencil brush and I'm going in with the color brown. And I'm just applying it to the bottom lash on the bottom part of my eyes. And with the same pencil brush, I'm applying a little bit of a highlight into the inner corners of my eyes. So now to mascara, we want to go ahead and go ahead and apply the mascara and not be shy when you're applying mascara. A lot, 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 lots of mascara. And please, ladies, do not forget your bottom lashes. They're extremely important when wearing glasses. We want to bring out that attention to our eyes. I cannot stress it enough. So there we go. We're ready. And now for the lips, I'm wearing the new Milani Matte Lipstick in color Matte Orchid. It's a beautiful matte bright hot pink. You can do red, whichever color you please. So 
there you have it girl this is my go-to look when I'm wearing glasses I tend to do dramatic eye since you don't want to draw too much attention to your face already because you have already glasses on but you don't want to you don't want your face or your eyes to get lost in your glasses so what I like to do is like I said I like to be bold with my wing liner um, and just a bold lip so I hope you found this um, tutorial helpful for you guys if you have any other questions uh, regarding wearing glasses and a hairdo or any other type of makeup uh, look for that matter, just go ahead and leave it in the comments below. Thank you so much for sticking till the end. Be blessed, precious pearls. Until my next video. Bye.